Hello, welcome to Socktober. Uh, the plan for the month is a whole month of sock themed knitting projects, and today uh, it's raining. I am less than well, I am in bed. Um, yeah, so here's one of the plans. This is a sock tube. I purchased this set at Capital Fiber Fest. And this came with a mini skein and a knitted sock tube. Um, this is Mrs. Peacock Yarns, and the colorway is topsy-turvy. It's very cool. They're very much my colors. This also comes with um, Avalon Knits. There's a YouTube clip on how to do a de measure divide and knit afterthought heel on here and I've looked at it and it terrifies me because I'm going to have to pick up the stitches and I think according to the packet there's 64 stitches so there's 64 stitches and I'm going to have to pick them up Do some rib, do a cut it off and do a toe, and then cut the heel and do a heel as an afterthought heel. And I've never done an afterthought heel before. They're not going to be particularly long socks though, are they? But that's okay. I'm nervous about a couple of things. One, I'm nervous about um, making this go far enough to do all the bits um, although this here of not of the set sort of goes so I've got a backup plan um, I've never done an afterthought, afterthought heel um, I'm nervous about picking up the stitches this is a nerve-wracking project so this is this is my this is one of my Socktober projects for 2023. I'm going to turn this into a pair of socks and hmm, wish me luck. I need to ball this up and if I'm smart I ball it up into two balls and then I've got enough. And then I need to work out what to do here because I'm gonna have to pick up the stitches. Yeah I think my plan is going to be pick up the stitches, knit the top rib on both ends and then I'm not going to worry about it unraveling but I am worried I am there's not many things I've been nervous of before but I'm quite nervous about doing this mm. so why not be nervous about doing it on a rainy day when I can't really do much because I'm quite bedridden um yeah <gasps> we shall see how it goes So um, I've I've picked up the stitches. I'm not using the needles that I want to be using, which is really annoying because I'm not exactly sure what I've done with them. They might be in the car, and I I don't really want to take twenty steps. <laughs> oh. Anyone who lives in chronic pain will will know that um, sometimes it's about the spoons, and at the moment I don't have that. Um, so I've picked up the stitches and I've re-knitted some of the yarn. Um, I'm not going to re-knit that bit. I've also wound um, wound the ball. I don't know, that's that's the whole mini skein. So I'm very nervous about whether or not there's enough to do the whole thing. But I'm going to start with some top ribbing and go from there. I mean, I could be surprised. I've been surprised before. And it's not like I need leftover yarn at the end of the project. I just need enough yarn to do the project. Look at me sometimes like all you want to do is run.
So this is where I'm up to on the, um, the sock kit. So I've done this in here. Now I've only done a 10 row band and that makes me a bit worried because I normally prefer 16 to 20 for a top band. And um, I've picked up the other end um, of live stitches and I'm working on that band. I have moved over to my preferred uh, sock knitting needles now that I've finished my other socks. And they're off them. I don't know where my other spare pair is. I've got two pairs of these needles. Well, four sets of these needles for two. Yeah, you know what I mean. Um, so my next task after I complete this band is to separate it into two socks, I think. And then put the kitchener stitch in the toe. Um, mm, I am still really worried that there's not going to be enough of this gold yarn. Um, I'm also concerned that when I bought the pack, I did say, look, I knit my socks on three millimeter needles. Is that going to be fine? And it's, it's okay. But I do feel like the circular sock machine that made the blank is more suited to say a two point two or 2.25 needle and that's not how I prefer to knit my socks. Um, you gotta find the needles a little bit too, not bendy, but bendy is the word I'm gonna go with at this time. Um, but they're just a bit flimsy and I'm a bit worried about ruining them all the time, as well as it feels like it takes an eternity and the, it feels like the stabbing of a thousand pins um, every time you stab yourself in the uh, hand with them. But anyway, I'll finish off this band and then I will work out how to separate it into two socks afterwards mm. right literally one of the hardest things i've done in a long time trying to pick up these stitches here and leave the gap in between now i need to find my little scissors and snip the one in between and unwind it and then hopefully i'll have the socks separated and on different needles
here are my socks knitted from a sock tube from Avalon Knits. This bit here, the striped section, is a yarn from Mrs. Peacock Knits. And it was put together um, as a pack with the toe yarn and the striping yarn. Already the tube was done and all you had to do was add this top band and the toe and the heel and separate the whole thing. Honestly, it was... It was worth it for the challenge. I did, it was the first time I did any steaking and it scared me and that was fine in the end. I was quite surprised. Um, will I steak things again? I probably will. I think I'm going to try another sock where I do the afterthought heel because doing that bit was quite easy. These still haven't been blocked and I haven't done in the ends because let's face it, there's an orange end and a yellow end, uh, a pink end and a yellow end, a couple of yellow ends and some steaked bits and some bits at the top. It's going to be a nightmare doing that much, so I just haven't got to that yet. But the thing is this, it took me about three evenings of where I was very busy to actually finish it, so that's quite incredible. That It was fast, but was it worth it? Um, I paid $30, I think, no, $35 for the kit. Something along those lines from um, Capital Fibre Fest. And I don't mind doing that. It didn't take long to turn it into a pair of socks. But is it a pair of socks that I like? No. Yes, no, no, no. I think the biggest issue is that I like knitting on 3mm needles for my socks. And I think this is more of a 2.5mm project. But I didn't do that. So you can see... There is a stitch size difference in the bits that I've done. I've still got to work out how and why I've got things like these little pulls where the bits are joining and these little holes here and how to avoid those. But I did it and I'm glad that I did. So I'm now not afraid of sticking and I'm not afraid of afterthought heels, but I am afraid of sock kits and running out of yarn because it's just kind of the thing. And it does turn the act of knitting socks into the act of knitting just the bits of the socks that's really difficult to knit and not so much fun. So doing the toes, I don't mind doing the toes. Um, doing the heels, I don't mind doing the heels. Um, doing the top ribbing, it's fine. But mostly there was a lot of picking up stitches, counting, and that sort of thing. And I'm not interested in doing a lot of that. I like the fact that I can start knitting a pair of socks and just finish knitting a pair of socks. Um... And I like a pattern in the middle, to be honest, I think I've decided. So all of this bit here that's the therapeutic knitting is kind of just done by a machine. I mean, I think if I had a circular sock machine, it's a way of churning out socks to sell at markets really quickly. But if you don't have the machine, it's really just going through the process of making a pair of socks quickly, but not necessarily a pair of socks that um, I would knit otherwise, normally. I like the yarn, um, but I think I could do a better job if I just had the yarn, if that makes sense. But I'm glad that I did it, and I will try Afterthought Heels again in the future.